Over the years, military used the methods camouflage, cover, and concealment in order to ambush their enemies hiding sight. Like the ancient Greeks, they used Trojan horse to hide their troops and enter the city of Troy. So, let's start with the question of what is camouflage, cover, and concealment? First, camouflage. So, this is the method of these guys hiding, blending, or deceiving yourself from the enemy. Camouflage uses natural and man-made materials like chili suit, face and body paint, grass and leaves to conceal individuals' equipment and position from the enemy. The secret to camouflage is to never draw the attention of your enemy because if you do, then your plan will fail and you will also die as well as your mates. Concealment on the other hand is anything that hides an individual, his position, unit, or equipment from enemies' observation. The difference between concealment to camouflage is that in concealment, it uses the surroundings to disguise your location from the enemy, and it can be natural or artificial, while camouflage uses the method of disguise, hiding or blending yourself to deceive your enemy. In natural concealment, it is provided by the surroundings and needs no change, such as bushes, grass, big rocks, trees, and shadows. While in artificial concealment, it is made from materials such as burlaps, nets, or from natural materials such as bushes, grass, and leaves moved from their original location. Remember that Concealment is not a protection from enemies' fire, but a protection from enemies' observation. Lastly is cover. It is the protection from fire of the enemy's weapon and it may be natural or artificial. An example of natural covers are logs, trees, stump, ravens, hollow, and river slopes. Well, the examples of artificial covers are bulletproof vests, walls, fighting holes, trenches, rubbles, and crater. The do's and don'ts of camouflage cover and concealment. First, do use all cover and concealment available and move only when as necessary. Second, do carefully stay low if possible. Third, don't expose anything that shines or attracts attention to enemy's eye, like skin, watches, ring, and etc. Fourth, do avoid open fields and use only materials that is needed. Fifth, do keep quiet and change or disguise in the shape of yourself and equipment. Sixth, do observe and always inspect position from the enemy's point of view. And lastly, do avoid outstanding landmines such as lone trees and road junction. So why do we need to learn this? It is important to learn camouflage, cover, and concealment in order to protect yourselves and reduce the chance of detection from the enemy when attacking to their location.